Hello and welcome back to another Hunter video. This time it's going to be about our 5.4 changes. Now, as far as the changes go, a lot of the core mechanic changes have been made, however the actual numbers and balancing hasn't, so this is more about just the general feel. So first of all, I'll go through the stuff that applies to everybody. Now, the following hit abilities no longer cost focus. Dash, dive, and charge. These are pet abilities that increase speed. So what I'd actually recommend doing, of course, it's what people, all people used to do, but now it's buffed, is that you just pop dash, dive, whatever, before you pull a boss, and then your pet can get in there and start doing damage really quickly, so that's quite nice. Next up, Arcane Shot has had its damage and focus cost increased by 50%. So this means that it's not necessarily buffed, but it's more of a decisive shot, and I actually think this is good, because sometimes you really just, you end up spamming so much um, Arcane Shot, you know, doing five, six of them, um, in a row in between your um, your various signature shots that it just feels really spammy. I think with it being stronger and more expensive, it'll feel like more of a shot and it'll probably feel a little bit more satisfying to you, so that's definitely a nice change. Also, we now have a new ability called Counter Shot. This is a baseline interrupt that all hunters get at level 22. It's not as good as... Um, a silencing shot because it doesn't have that silence effect. However, for raiding purposes, it does the job pretty well. Next up, we have Deterrence. It now has two charges, and so does Disengage. That's because, uh, that is because readiness is gone. So, yeah, boom, <laughs> no more readiness. Certainly makes things rather interesting. Also, Explosive Trap had its overall damage decreased by 30%. This damage mostly comes off the initial damage rather than the periodic effect. Hunter's Mark now has a duration of 20 seconds while in PvP, which is down from 30. Revive Pet no longer requires you to be in line of sight of your pet, which is quite nice. And Stampede has been changed again, so that when it's used outside of an arena or battleground, it's no longer reduced by 75% damage. So Stampede is still really good in PvE. It's getting this last It's a very big buff, 75% buff essentially. Um, or at least removing that 75% reduction, so it's very good. So pretty much, there's no massive PvE nerfs or anything like that, and the removal of readiness is basically just to get less burst, because burst really messes up PvP, and when PvP is messed up by an issue such as burst, it often bleeds through to PvE. I think it also makes the class very clunky and needlessly weird to play, at the, uh, especially at the pull, so I think it's a good change. Now, Deterrence and Disengage now have charges, so it shouldn't be a nerf really, and it's just more about, you know, don't spam them or use them wrong because your charges will run out, so I think that's pretty cool. Next up, uh, yes, Arcane Shot, still very powerful. One thing which I think could be a little bit weird is if Arcane Shot in combination with Thrill of the Hunt ends up being too powerful. I think that might be quite weird. So yes, we definitely do have a very strong secondary shot. Is it too strong? Well, that might be the problem. If it's so strong that it doesn't really matter if you use it or explosive shot, then it would be quite worrying. Now, Blizzard did say that a lot of the actual numbers balancing will be done around signature shots, not things like Arcane, so that should be good. Now, on to specific things. So, for Marksman Hunters, Binding Shot is no longer on the Marksman tree, or on the Marksman ability, and it's now a talent. For Survival, Explosive Trap no longer shares a cooldown with Black Arrow and can uh, no longer activate Lock and Load, so really it's just separated completely from that mechanic. In terms of our talents, these are some interesting changes. Murder of Crows now deals 40% more damage. That's quite a big number, so that's very good. Aspect of the Iron Hawk now reduces all damage by 10%, down to 15. This is in line with a lot of other changes coming to other classes with similar talents. Glaive Toss no longer initiates auto attack, so there you go. Now Escape's Root Effect is now a nature spell. Silencing Shot is no longer a talent, and uh, it's actually what replaces Counter Shot for Marksmanship Hunters. Spirit Bond's actually been buffed. It now is 3% of total health every 2 seconds rather than 2, so it's a 33% buff, which is very good. And also Wervin Sting has had its range up to 40 yards from 35. So, yeah, there you go. This Murder of Crows buff really does seem substantial though, holy crap, so that's interesting. Now we have Glyphs. So there's the Glyph of the Lean Pack, this reduces the range of aspect of the pack by 7 yards. I'm assuming that's just if you only want a certain part of your raid to be covered by aspect of the pack? I don't know, it's weird and honestly I don't think it would really ever be used. Next up we have Glyph of Enduring Deceit. Camouflage also reduces spell damage taken by 10%. That's quite nice, actually. For Major Glyphs, we have Glyph of Man Pet, which now has a 100% chance of 
cleansing one curse disease match or something, which is up from 50. It was a little bit stupid the way it was 50, so that's nice. Glyph of Mending now speeds up the periodic effect of Mend Health and will restore health every one second. That actually seems really good because you have more heals per second on your pet. And next up we have Glyph of No Escape. This increases the range critical chance against targets affected by your Freezing Chap up uh, to 100%, which is up from 20. Glyph of No Escape is really good actually, maybe in PvP or something, so you can get some nice crits off after you use your Freezing Trap. But anyway, there we go. Now, numbers, not balanced yet, but just in terms of the general feel of the class, I like that it's less bursty. I think this readiness change will make Hunters way more stream- I, this is good streamlining. I understand there is streamlining, which is dumbing down, but the start, you know, the Hunter thing, it really just came to pressing buttons in a way that you sort of, sort of just pre-learned and there was no real there's no real skill to it no real it was just so rigid and I don't think it was a very good system that I was able to do it fine I didn't I just don't think it was a very good mechanic because you have all this sort of clusterfuck of buttons way too many buttons by the way at the start of the fight and then relative ease until the next beastical wrath comes up so I think that's that's nice it's much cleaner with uh, without readiness all I would, I just hope that they get the balancing of the numbers right. Now, often Blizzard do have a, they do have a bit of a tendency in a situation like this to weigh, like you know, to overbuff a class. And hey, being overbuffed for uh, for one patch wouldn't be too bad, right? It's not happened to us for quite a long time. But anyway, that's just a quick run over of the current state of hunters. It'd be really interesting to see what you guys think, especially the other hunters. That said, if you're listening on to this point, you probably are a hunter. And that's really it. Let me know in the comments, I'll have a chat with you, it'll be great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.